So since we only use these to make music, here are 20 plugins that I use every single day to make my music. And I'm gonna show you 10 instrument VSDs and 10 effect VSDs. And I got some crazy free plugins as well in here, so y'all make sure to watch till the end. And if you can afford these plugins, which is completely fine, y'all make sure to check the link in the description. There's my own kit store, which is called Lucalan, and you will get a personalized 15% discount code when you just go into the site. So I'd really appreciate y'all just checking it out. And as like a little tip, if you want to get something from Lucalan, y'all make sure to get the Legacy Multi Kit. It has a drum kit, one shot phrases, and everything else, my own samples, and like over 150 high MIDI some exos, some FL themes, a contact bankless, live phrases and many many more things so y'all make sure to check that out. And now let's get right into the video and I'm gonna show y'all these VCs right now. So for the first instrument VST, we got the Prophet 5. And this VST is like my go-to VST for like main melodies, I would say, because you got some crazy keys right here. And I picked the Chill Keys preset, and as you can see, it's one of my favorites as well. Or I basically dragged in a MIDI I made myself out of the Starshot Multi Kit. And it's a very simple MIDI, as you can see right here. And I'm gonna preview the Chill Keys preset and the Brown Eyes preset, so I'm gonna just skip like through these when it's playing. And for most of these synths, I will show y'all today, you have like an arpeggiator button, which I love to use. You can just do so many cool things with the arpeggiator button, or like with the whole settings in general. And as you can see, you have the voice dispersion right here, which which is like basically hidden when you don't like hover over it and as you can see you have a lot of different options to tweak you can click on the advanced thing right here and have some mod options to tweak like some effects as well but i'm gonna just leave it on its default settings the chill keys preset and the brown ice preset and both of them are sounding like this And now for the second plugin, for the first effect VSD, I got Soothe 2 because it removes like some of the frequencies that just are too harsh. And I'm a mute FL for a second and now I'll just play it so you can see what it does. It basically EQs out different things that are like too harsh or not really necessary for the sample by itself and it obviously releases them. So it's not like with an EQ, so you don't have it all the time like this. It basically EQs everything out itself and it goes away when the like bad frequency is not playing, I would say. So Soothe is probably the best VSD and I'm gonna let everything play and then turn the bypass from Soothe off so you can hear what it does. And I'll is operating like this. Now for the next plugin we got augmented voices and for me I basically just use it for like pads for like vocal-ish sounding pads and you have like a lot of different presets to choose from as you can see right here but I chose the bouncing walls preset and I didn't tweak it at all and as you can see it's just this simple pattern it's just these simple chords which are basically following the root notes of this first pattern and I'm gonna let both play together but I'll show you all this pattern right here because it's really simple so you can get a hang of what it sounds like to layer some things and both these together but basically the augmented voices are sounding like this. And then for the fourth VC and the second effect VC, we got Portal. And I know probably every single one of y'all knows Portal. But if you got the right effects, it's like still a very, very nice plugin. And to be honest, I don't use it that often. But if I want some crazy textures, I still use Portal. Because it's still probably like the best VC to make like crazy textures for the background. And I got this Addicted to Reverse preset of the Hypnotized Bang. I think it's from Lone God. And I tweaked it like a little bit. I basically turned the wet to 100% and tweaked the settings that it looked like this. And this is probably the best preset for me to make like crazy textures. And as you can see, it's nothing more than these settings. And they're addicted to reverse preset and I'ma let it play on this pattern right here just so that you can get a hang of what these textures would sound like and you can obviously flip them afterwards like you render them out and then flip them again because that's what I do most of the time and now this profit with this portal right here is something like this. Now for the first free instrument VST, we got Spitfire Labs. And as you can see, I basically just use it for the soft piano. But the soft piano is probably the best free sound that you can get. And as you can see, I have some more things downloaded, but I rarely use them. You can download a lot of different banks from it though. And I just use the soft piano because it's like so fire. And I'm gonna use the same pattern so you can get a hang of what it sounds like. And the soft piano is sounding like this. And now for the next VST, the third effect VST, we got Cymatics Illusion. And as you can see, I have this preset right here on there. And you have some very nice presets on here. The only thing I did was putting the mix to 100%. And Cymatics Illusion is really, really nice for some textures as well. I'm gonna put it on a Spitfire Labs soft piano so you can get a hang of what it sounds like. And Cymatics Illusion plus the Labs piano is sounding like this.
Then for the next VC, we got the D7 synth. But for this example, I have the ramping lead right here. And I really, really love this lead because it's just like so fire for making like synth samples. And it's really fire to give your sample like a lot of energy, I would say. And I'm gonna have the profit pattern play again, just in like in the, like the background. But I'm gonna lower the volume as you can see right here. I'm gonna just turn on the D7 and it sounds like this. And now we got another Cymatics plugin and it's a Dark Sky VSD and it's another Effect VSD. And as you can see right here, I have the mixer 100% and it's basically the default preset when you open it. But I turned the detune to 0%, the feedback as well and the size as well. I have the speed to minus 2, the number to 100% and the mix to 100%. And now this preset with the Labs Piano sounded like this. Then for non-synth instrument, we got the BBC Symphony Orchestra VSD right here. And as you can see, you have a lot of different presets to choose from as well, from like real sounding instruments. And I will start at the piano, but I will skip through when I play the pattern. And the pattern obviously is like the basic pattern for this video, I would say, which is this one right here out of the Starswap Multikit. And as I said, I will just skip through these presets right here. And the BBC Symphony Orchestra with its different presets is sounding like this. Then for the next effect we see, we got Finisher Micro and it's a free plugin which you can get while just signing up to the UGEM newsletter, I think. And as you can see, I'm using the first preset, the Infinity preset, but you have like a bunch of different presets. I turned the amount, like basically the mix to 100% and I'm gonna have the lapse pattern play again, but it's like a really, really nice VST for some texture as well. I'm gonna let it play with the piano and it sounds really, really nice and it sounds like this. Then for the next VSD or VSDs, I got the SRX series. And for this example, I'm gonna use the SRX keyboards and the SRX orchestra with the Legato strings preset and this grand piano preset. And both of them together, I'm gonna show you all the piano pattern while it's playing, that's sounding like this. And now I probably got the best VC if you want your samples to sound vintage or to make your instruments sound vintage. And it's the OCS 45 cassette simulation right here. And as you can see, you have a lot of different presets to choose from. You have over 84, basically you have 85 presets to choose from. And I will just choose the Your Mom's Tape preset and lower the volume by the noise. And I just found out you even have a dark mode, which looks way cooler. What I will do, you can see the general dry and wet knob right here. I'm gonna just turn it up and down so you'll get a hang of what it sounds like with and without the effect. So the OCS 45 with the Labs piano is sounding like this. Then for the next instrument VC, we got another synth, which is a June 6, and I just love the synth, and I picked the alternative preset, and I just turned off this chorus noise because it's basically too loud, and as you can see right here, you have an arpeggio knob as well, which is really, really fire, and the June 6 synth is sounding like this. And now for the next effect VST, there's a VST which not only has like sound design options, it has normal delay options, reverb options, like color options as well. So it's basically like an EQ too. But for this example, I went into the design section and as you can see, I picked the drill preset and I turned the dry to 0% right here and to wet up to about like 45%, I would say. And that's all I did. And it sounds really nice on the Labs piano as well. And it sounds like this. And now for the next instrument VST, which isn't really instrument VST, I would say. I have Factoid and shout out to Max Shooter for showing it because it's like a really, really nice VST if you want to make like your own phrases, I would say, or to like basically just randomize your whole sample. And as you can see, I loaded this attraction starter into Factoid and I'm just let it play so you can get a hang of what the original starter sounded like.
And now what I'm gonna do is basically just press this time randomized knob right here. I'm gonna just press it like a bunch of times and I will press it till it looks like this at the beginning. So I have like a whole part at the beginning so I don't have to skip through it. As you can see right here, I'm gonna just press this knob so it starts playing from the beginning and I'm just let it play and listen what it sounds like. And now to export it, you just have to pull this drag me knob and just put it into FL right here. So you just have like a whole new idea to start with or basically like a whole new main melody. And now the next effect VST is this EFX fragrance right here. And as you can see, I just turned the grand mix to 100% and I have the Labs piano again because it just sounds so fire with everything. And the EFX fragments with the Labs piano is sounding like this. And then for the next instrument VSTs, I got Analog Lab, Contact and Omnisphere because I don't want to make like an own ranking with these because these are just so known that I just want to shout them out for people that don't know these. But Contact, Omnisphere and Analog Lab are like the must-have plugins for producers. And for this example, I picked Analog Lab and I picked the double softness preset out of the key section. And it's obviously the same pattern again and it sounds like this. And then for the next effect VC, we got Synth Warmer, which is really simple. It's basically like an EQ, but like just with a cooler layout. And you can play with the cutoff, but I'm gonna show it to you with the last VST. And the last VST is this Oberheim OBEs. And I picked this 80s Glamour V2 preset. And I will turn off the Synth Warmer at first. So I'm gonna press this knob right here so it's turned off. But then I'm gonna turn it on and show you what this cutoff knob does. And I'm gonna just let this pattern play it first and then turn on the Synth Warmer. And the Synth Warmer with the OBEs is sounding like this. <laughs> Now for the last effect VCs, I'm gonna show you my mastering chain for making my samples. And the mastering chain contains this L1 limiter serial from Waves because that's what I wanna show or tell y'all. Get Waves plugins, they are so affordable but so good. And as you can see, these are the settings on the L1 limiter. Then I have the sound shifter pitch zero, which is probably my second most used effect VST because you basically can like pitch shift the sample while making it and obviously pitch shift the patterns itself without like having to shift them. And for this example, I obviously transpose it by zero, but you can do it like this as you can see right here. Then I have this fully parametric EQ where I basically just duck the lows by I think it's one decibel and then obviously soothe with the ear friendly top on master 2 preset and it looks like this and now that is my mastering chain for making my samples so yeah guys i want to make the outro really short so if y'all enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel and please make sure to let me know in the comments of what you think of these 20 plugins and if you can afford these plugins which as i said is completely okay y'all make sure to check out luca land the link for that is in the description there you can get the highest quality on sound for like the cheapest price so i'd really appreciate y'all just checking it out and you will get a personalized discount when you just go onto the site so don't forget to leave a like subscribe to comment and to check out luca land and yeah guys see y'all next Sunday.